Hello. Uh, some fun updates. Uh, the past few uh, weeks or days, rather, I've been uh, working on a few features. So as you can see, there's actually like a mouse pointer now. I hope it shows on YouTube, but we'll see. Uh, which means that aside from just moving the camera up and down and basically follow the uh, AV through the, uh, the environments, uh, I can actually use the pointer for other things. For example, I can basically point at something and question like what is it I'm actually looking at. So if I press ALT, if you look at the top left corner, it will basically tell you now I'm pointing at terrain. And if I move out of the terrain, it basically points to nothing. Terrain, nothing. Sort of terrain, nothing. And this big thing here is called section. And if we go over between the gaps, you'll see it will basically disappear. And we can go from like section to I think to terrain and all the way here to AUV. So this is essentially called picking, where you cast a line from your camera towards whatever you're looking at, and then intersect with the scene, and then figure out well what is that I'm looking at. It's quite cool, so this means I can later on easily interact with uh, with the level, think features like level editing, adding, removing stuff from the level, etc. Secondly, there's a GUI, which I'll just bring up here, so you can see it's like a framework I basically move about and do whatever I want with it. And there's a few components I implement so far. So first of all, there's like a text box, so you can basically press the mouse and the quiz basically go wherever you want to go to. You can delete some text. Uh, by backspace or just press delete and you can basically type some credits. As you can see text input is less to be desired but there you go, 3D engine. Um, and you can be sure to home and keys as well if you uh, if you want. Uh, then there's like some checkboxes you can check and can check events which can update stuff or trigger options and whatnot. Then there's a label which is like a piece of text. Um, and then there's like two buttons to actually do something. So the uh, start RT will essentially uh, find a path from the current location of the AUV which is here to the other side of the of this uh, structure over here. So we can just press the button now and see what happens. Um, as soon as the game still pauses when I press it as we uh, look for a solution. Uh, this is going to be resolved soon when I basically do threats to the uh, 3D, uh, 3D game engine. Now uh, it shouldn't be too complicated. Um, essentially just like a standardized uh, C++ C or C++ 11, I'm going to call it which uh, should work cross-platform. So when I press the button, the threat just fire, find a solution, and the simulation just uh, keep running until we find a solution. And it's got implemented, so here we go, find a solution. And you see like a big jump, and that's because the engine will essentially figure out, well, we've just been waiting for like a few seconds, and it will then quickly try to catch up by very quickly simulating the uh, physics of the engine uh, before rendering again, so this is what just happened now. So, when you hit clear RT and then basically do the same thing again, and again the engine stops while we basically cut like a new solution to this, uh, to this problem, and then we find one, and now that's being executed. So, that's what we got so far. So, we got like a GUI implemented. I'll implement like more features of the GUI. Give it overhaul in the actual graphical design, which is kind of bad at the moment. But it like all the basic features, and this will allow me to both interact with the environment without having to hard code all the objects inside, and also allows me to display stuff like the current plan being executed, the energy budget of the uh, of the AUV, and all that sort of stuff. So that should be quite uh, quite interesting. So look forward to that. Uh, so yeah, first of all, GUI is now being implemented. I have my own custom code and design, because the ones I've seen and tried are not very good and didn't really do what I want to do, or just kind of really old code. Oh yeah, plus we can basically fold the thing up if we don't need it and basically expand again, and it will still work. So that's that. Uh, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll keep you guys posted. It's like new features available. Cheers.